Elm Street was an ordinary suburban neighborhood with neatly manicured lawns and friendly neighbors. But beneath the facade of normalcy, a sinister legend had taken root. A legend whispered about in hushed tones at local cafes and among the children who dared each other to investigate. He's an old heart head, CNC. We gotta stop this. How? Don't fall asleep. It was said that the rooftop specters haunted Elm Street, malevolent entities that roamed from house to house, perching on rooftops and casting their eerie gaze upon anyone unlucky enough to notice them. The history of these spectral beings was shrouded in mystery, lost in the annals of time. Some believed they were the restless spirits of a family that had suffered a tragic fate in the neighborhood long ago. Others thought they were malevolent entities drawn to the lingering negative energy of past miseries. One evening, Sarah, a young woman with a fascination for the paranormal, moved into a charming house on Elm Street. Her curiosity about the neighborhood's dark secret had grown too strong to ignore. She had heard the stories, the chilling tales of sleepless nights, and the haunting nightmares that had plagued many who had lived on Elm Street. Armed with her smartphone, and a thirst for answers, she decided to investigate. One night, under a cloudy moon, she stood in her backyard, her phone's flashlight piercing the darkness. She scanned the rooftops of the neighboring houses, hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive specters. Then, her heart skipped a beat. There, on the roof of the house next door, stood one of the dreaded entities, a rooftop specter. Its shadowy figure seemed to materialize from the night, its blood-red eyes fixated on Sarah. She froze, unable to look away. A wave of dread washed over her, and she knew that she had become the specter's next victim. Over the next few nights, Sarah's life became a living nightmare. Each evening, the specter returned to her rooftop, its presence haunting her dreams. She woke up in a cold sweat, plagued by visions of the malevolent entity. Her once peaceful life unraveled as paranoia and fear consumed her. She became a recluse, spending her days researching the specters, their origins, and their modus operandi. Determined to break free from the specters' curse, Sarah began consulting experts in the paranormal. She reached out to mediums and ghost hunters, seeking their guidance. They confirmed that the specters were believed to be remnants of souls trapped in a liminal state feeding on the fear of the living. One, ready or not, here I come. They cautioned her that confronting them was a perilous endeavor, as the specters were known to be relentless in their pursuit of fear. One night, as the specter loomed over her, Sarah found her voice. With newfound courage, she spoke to the entity, acknowledging the pain and fear that bound it to this world. She offered a heartfelt apology on behalf of the living and a plea for the specter to find peace and move on. The specter's red eyes flickered, and for a moment, it wavered. Slowly, it faded away, leaving Sarah alone on her rooftop. The curse had been momentarily lifted, but she knew it would return, for the rooftop specters were nomadic always moving on to the next rooftop to find someone else to terrify. As Elm Street returned to its uneasy slumber, Sarah couldn't help but listen to the ominous sounds on her roof. Each creak and shuffle sent shivers down her spine, a reminder that the rooftop specters were never truly gone. The legend persisted, and the next rooftop, the next victim, awaited their turn to face the malevolent gaze of the elusive entities. And so, the story of the rooftop specters continued, a macabre dance of fear and courage in the quiet suburbs of Elm Street, where the line between the living and the dead blurred on moonless nights. Sarah's bravery had brought temporary relief, but the specters, ancient and vengeful, would forever cast their ominous presence on the rooftops, seeking new souls to torment, and the mystery of Elm Street's haunting endured for generations to come. Elm Street remained both a quaint suburban Don't neighborhood and a chilling repository of a dark secret that refused to fade into history.
Its residents carried the burden of knowing that the spectral malevolence of the rooftop specters was never truly vanquished, lurking just beyond the veil of reality, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to cross their path.